everyone. This hello everyone. This is Mr. 13 Things taking you back to the very beginning of where the 13 comes from. Uh, you can realize it it's pretty hard to learn 13 things all by itself unless you put them into patterns. And sometimes these patterns repeat. So in this case you're looking at essentially a 24-hour clock which of course as I scribble up here I'm going to do it on the outside takes you all the way around from which would be our zero position here if you would all the way around to either 360 degrees or more importantly two pi radians and you can look at and discover more about the fact that it if you take this radial distance here and string it out along the edges it will go around 6.28 times so let me go out and undo here because we, what we want to look at now is how sometimes these 13 things can come and it could be 12 things, it could be 40 things. 13 things comes from that concept way back when that there are 390 math facts that you have to know by the end of fourth grade. We got a few more grades coming up here and so we're going to be grabbing at least that many facts in groups of 13 if you are going to build and have a core based math and science knowledge so you can do the science, the technology, the architecture uh, and of course the engineering and math that is redundant. And so looking at this picture what we're going to really do right now here is we're just going to be looking at the pattern inside of this these three points and if you recognize you might see that these this is a 45 degree angle if you were in Wausau, you look up 45 degrees off the horizon and you see the North Star up here. So there you go, the North Star. That's in Wausau. You all should go to Wausau. We're a mountain, beautiful place. Okay, if you are south of Wausau, if you're in Fond du Lac, it'll be a bit less. And if you're at the North Pole, it's straight up. So we have some concept of outside and what angles mean by this concept of an elevation angle. That said, we're going to go through this concept of thinking this circle has a radius of 1. So we're going to go ahead, for now I'm going to go ahead and mark it up down here. We know that this, the radius equals 1, therefore the diameter equals 2 on this. So you're going to see that comes back later. That said, if we were to divide this halfway up, this line 1 halfway up and come all the way across, we would get that point there. That point there, as I open up some coordinates here now, is going to have a y of one half. And as you draft the whole pattern later, you're going to see that's going to be an easy one to do. But we're just going to learn the pattern of the first three slices, or in fact, the first four points. Each of these slices, if you think about it, the full angle is 2 pi half the angle or 180 degrees is pi and so each of these slices is pi over 12. The angle is pi over 12. Saying the word radians is actually redundant just like saying degrees in Kelvin is wrong but we'll go ahead and say pi over 12 radians anyway. It is a pure number. And so now what we're going to discover is in fact the coordinates come in patterns in these first four places. First off, if you know that this is 0 and 0, it's the origin there, and this is a radius of 1, then you know the coordinates of this point over there at 0 degrees, or 0 radians, or in the standard position is 1 and 0. We're going to skip these up here for now, and we're going to look for a pattern, but first we're going to look for this pattern that's not a 1, 2, 3 pattern, but it is a 2, 4, 6 pattern. And it repeats so if you learn it once and learn how to change the repetition in something called the conjugate, you'll have it down every time. The pattern looks like this. 2, 4, 6, and there's square roots on the top and it, there's addition. Over here, 2, 4, 6, square roots on the top and there's subtraction and you have then what is what we're going to call the first and the second or the x and the y points on the unit circle at pi over 12. 
you're going to then see a pattern where 2 is involved everywhere. 2 is involved everywhere. And then what we've got is we've got 1, 2, double, two, one, double 2, 3, or whatever the case would be. But you're going to see that the values here, the square root of 3, the square root of 2, and the square root of 2 are, in fact, what the coordinates are of those points. And these numbers will come in a better, clearer pattern when you look at the full 90 degrees. The reason why we look at just these three now is that we can then go ahead and flip things as we go up and around the circle. So in fact, if we know this, the value here, we know the value here is just each of those reversed. We know that because the value here is just the value here at 90 degrees or at pi over 2 is just these values reversed. And so to fill up the rest of the first quadrant, you just teach these values and then flip them around about a line of symmetry. That line of symmetry being the line 45 degrees or y equals x. Using these patterns, this pattern flipped and then flipped and then flipped, you get to what is much more, sorry about peanut butter, what is much more complex than just 13 things, um, a lot more than 13. I'll leave you with this, and this is, I wouldn't call it brute, brute memorization, but you should quickly know that the tangent of 45 is 1. You should know that the tangent of 30 degrees, which is just basically the second number divided by the first number, is less than 1 and the square root of 3 is involved. And this one down here, the tangent of 45, doesn't fit into any necessarily pattern. Eventually you're going to realize the tangent of the small angle is the small angle and you can go with pi over 12 as an approximation. However, it is just 2 minus the square root of 3. By learning this pattern, and of course the tangent of 0 is 0, by learning this pattern you have very quickly even before you know that the first value has another name and the second value has another name and the third value has another name. Even before you know that, you've delved into what is the relationship between spatial drafting and spatial recognition and this crazy old thing called trigonometry and the unit circle. That's 13 things from Mr. 13 Things. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know, 13? I guess it's more than 13. Thanks for listening.